we implemented measures to block scam calls and SMSs. But scammers then pivoted to social media and messaging apps to reach out to victims. Meta products, in particular Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram, were among the top online platforms exploited by scammers. They accounted for close to half of the scam cases in 2023 and about 43 per cent, around $280 million of losses. Mr. Gan Tianpo asked how the government works with online platforms to better protect Singaporeans from scams. MHA and SPF have been engaging online platforms, specifically those which account for a large number of scams. We have encountered varying levels of receptivity. Some, like Shopee and Carousel, have been willing and are working closely with MHA and the police such as by strengthening their user verification processes. In December 2022, Shopee introduced the seller verification features where sellers were required to verify their identities against government records. Shopee observed a sharp drop of 71% in e-commerce scams between 2021 and 2023 reported on their platform. Other platforms have been less willing to implement additional measures. For instance, Meta has consistently pushed back against MHA's recommendations for them to put in place safeguards to combat e-commerce scams on Facebook, such as verifying users against government-issued ID and offering a secured payment option for marketplace users. This is despite Facebook contributing close to 50% of e-commerce scam cases in 2023. It is the only platform amongst those rated in MHA's e-commerce marketplace transaction safety ratings, TSR, that has not implemented or commenced implementing the recommended safety features. As a result, Facebook Marketplace was ranked the lowest in the transaction safety ratings for the second consecutive year. I urge Meta to step up to do right by your users.